Hey guys and gals, Homestead Prepper. Okay, we're at the testing phase for the homemade EMP protector. And you can see I've got a 12 volt system. Now guys, this is not going to work on your house or solar panels above 12 volts. Okay, this is made specifically for a 12 volt system. If you have a car, like one of the CU, CVs, or whatever that's 24 volts, this is not going to work. Okay, so these need to match the voltage. Um, and I want to say before I get started that uh, work at your own risk and working with high voltage is inherently dangerous. So I advise you not to do it. And furthermore, you know, you're probably going to be better off just to buy one of the commercially available uh, ones that are out there. I'm not going to say any names, but uh, they have better testing facilities, obviously, than, than I do. So, uh, but anyway, guys, uh, we're going to zap this and... Like I said, this is just a cheapie, and if this blows up, I'm not going to return it and get my money back. Okay, that would be dishonest. But I've got it hooked up, and you can see that's working. And this, I was going to build my own little zapper, but this um, was a whole lot easier to get a hold of. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can zap that, and make sure you always have eye protection. Like I said, guys, work at your own risk. So you can see right there how it jumped across that and that light did not go out and it's still working so guys that kind of tells me that 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 thing right there is going to work if we have some high voltage surge because it it went across all that as you saw let's see if we can do it again And our light is still working. I don't have to see if we'll do it if the light flickers at all while we do this. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not going to call that a 100% collusive test here because of the backyard high voltage EMP simulation that I've done here. But uh, I will say that um, this is cheap electronics, this is electronic, and this is electronics in high voltage and it didn't, it didn't seem to phase this little thing right here. Yeah, it's a little warm, but... Uh, we only got 12 volts here this this is not warm at all so guys I'm gonna say pretty much that this little guy right here did its job okay well there was the test uh, if I can get a hold of some higher voltage uh, like I said I'm not exactly sure what this puts out it's advertised at 50,000 volts now whether that's true or not I don't know uh, maybe one day I'll build a 100,000 volt um, generator and we'll we'll try that direct all right I also wanted to do just on the off chance in case the thing was arcing through there and it wouldn't get the full voltage and losing something in the air uh, let's just I've got these hooked up direct and the contacts are spread out and let's uh, let's zap it so that's sending the full voltage to it and this thing is shunting it to ground. All right, guys. Well, I just wanted to, uh, like I said, make the test as conclusive as I can. All right, that's multiple hits at high voltage, and this thing is still going. All right, Homestead Prepper out.